Hey everybody, I just wanted to show the uh, under construction uh, view of the Alcohol Inks tile display rack that I'm making. Uh, this is an interior door. It cost me 18 bucks at uh, Menards and it's, uh, it's really cheap, you know, just uh, oak veneer, hollow core, uh, interior door. It doesn't even have a, a hole for a doorknob or um, routing cut into the edges for the hinges or anything. It's just a, a perfect rectangle all the way around. And uh, this is uh, shoe molding, like for your, uh, your baseboards down here. And uh, these come in, came in uh, eight foot strips and they were less than three dollars a piece. Uh, they, I think they were 277 something like that and uh, this door is 80 inch 80 inches long by 30 inches wide at least that's what it said on the label but the entire carpentry industry doesn't know how to measure anything so it's actually 31 and 5 8 inch, inches wide um, which is important to take into consideration if you're uh, when you're trying to figure out how many of the shoe molding pieces to get to go across to make your uh, shelves for the alcohol ink tiles. Because um, if you, you know, do all your math, well, they come in eight foot strips and I'll, you know, get a 24 inch wide door, it's not gonna work out like you think it is. So measure everything and then do your math. Um, but with this setup, uh, I'm basically, I can fit uh, six tiles very comfortably on each shelf. And there's uh, 12, I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve shelves. Um, so that's 72 tiles that I can fit on here. And I could actually, I did some math and I could actually get uh, between 90 and 96 tiles on here uh, just by making these, you know, shelves really close together so that the tiles fit in there uh, without much play. But I like a little bit, I like it a little more relaxed. I could also squeeze and get a seventh tile in there, but then they'd be touching on the sides. Um, so I, I like them having a little bit of breathing room. But still, um, for all total, this probably cost me uh, maybe 28 bucks at most um, for everything, including uh, wood glue, which I just got some Elmer's uh, wood glue, which is what I'm gonna use to glue the, uh, the shelves in place. Um, so for less than 30 bucks, you can get a, a very, very easy um, display rack for, uh, for your tiles. And this, I'm just gonna lean it up against the wall. And uh, up here at the top, I'll put a couple little pieces of felt so that it doesn't stick to the wall after it's there, you know, sitting there for a while. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty easy to do. Uh, the most challenging thing about this, I guess, is just cutting these, you know, with a little saw or whatever. I just used a coping saw. And, uh, you know, it took me maybe five minutes to, to cut all of these. Uh, and the way that I have this laid out, let me grab a ruler here. I've got these spaced so that from the bottom of one shelf to the bottom of the next shelf is six inches. And uh, like I said, that just gives the tiles a little bit of breathing room up here between the shelves. Uh, but you could adjust that, take it down to five inches if you wanted um, to be able to squeeze more shelves in here. But what I like about this is you couldn't go out and buy something that would display this many tiles for under 30 bucks. It would be impossible. And uh, I'm just going to leave this natural. I'm not really going to do anything to it because we're heading into winter. It's it's getting wet out and cold and all that stuff. Uh, but you could very easily paint this black. You know, just spray paint it. Uh, you could just varnish it. You know, paint it whatever color you wanted. Um, and as long as your your vehicle is big enough to hold something 80 inches long, you know, you could stack up several of these if you were going to a uh, you know, craft fair or flea market or something like that. And then you could just lean them up in your, your booth space and uh, put stuff on them. But um, like I said, this is just a, 
quick video just showing how I plan on constructing this and everything and I'm gonna make another little video uh, showing the finished product and there you go really cheap display rack take care